Good morning Gold Coast and happy Friday. I'm Cam down at the Gold Coast Turf Club today in preparation for tomorrow's Magic Millions race. You can see some of the horses getting ready as we speak, going for a quick little lap or two around the racetrack. What a beautiful day to be doing it too, look at that. Tomorrow is a $10 million race and tell you what, with weather like this, it won't be long before we overtake Melbourne Cup as the actual race that stops a nation. But we got a lot of things happening today, so let's get into the show with three things you need to know if you're on the Gold Coast this Friday. And we'll start with a non-horse related story first. You see, on our smartphones we've had technology like Next G, 3G, 4G, well the next stage is 5G and the Gold Coast could be one of the first cities in the world to trial this new technology. Telstra reckons they're going to test this next generation 5G technology at the Commonwealth Games next April. As a bit of background for you though, 5G technology isn't about making the internet faster on your phone, but rather allowing more people in a smaller area to actually access and stream high definition media. So it'll be great for those friends of ours who like to pay for a ticket to an event and then watch the whole thing on their smartphone and sending Snapchats to everyone else around the world. If you haven't done it yet, remember you can get your name in the credits of Monday's show just by clicking these buttons down below. Today is the final day of the yearling sales over at the Magic Millions Complex here in Bundle. Yesterday was big though, really big. Like the average horse price was $205,000. Three of them actually sold for over a million dollars. I think Gay Waterhouse actually bought the most expensive one for $1.3 million. But yesterday I also got a chance to catch up with Jerry Harvey, who's one of the co-owners of the Magic Millions event. Good, Good morning, morning Gold Coast. Coast. Now Jerry owns Harvey Norman, don't you mate? I know, but I'm Major share, I'm on the boss. There you go. So I started it. I've got a bit to do with it. Just a little. Now, yeah. when you're not selling us great furniture, of course, this is the second baby. Yeah. Tell us about the Magic Millions. Magic Millions was a company that was in trouble 20 mm. years ago when we bought it. We've developed it now into the number one in the country. And I might say, I believe, in the world. We do it better yeah. than any other sales company in the world. And they're looking at us and saying, you have taken it to the next level. That show in there is better than you've ever seen anywhere in a horse sale. We've got the race on Saturday, don't we? Yeah. What can we expect for that? Well, it's a $10 million race day. Everyone in the whole country mm -hmm. is talking about you know, what's happening on Saturday? Have I got a horse in there? Have you got a horse in there? When we took this over, nobody knew anything about it except the Gold Coast. And Even Brisbane happened. didn't know it was happening. <laughs> Do you have a pick for Saturday then? Anyone well, I've got a few horses in the race, mm -hmm. uh, different races. And so I won one last year. Um, I'm hoping I'll win one this year. If I win two, it'll be a little bit better. <laughs> if I win none, it'll be a, an incentive to win one next year. The Gold Coast is also going to get one of its own award events for local sporting excellence. Yesterday, Mayor Tom Tate launched these awards, which are going to be held at a black tie event in Surfers Paradise in March this year. So if you'd like to find out more information on these awards or maybe nominate someone you know for it, just click the link in this post. Let's take a look at this weekend's weather forecast, but first, meet a friend of mine. Good, Good morning, morning, Gold Coast. Coast. This is Nick. Now, Nick, you're with you bet, are you? Yep. Yeah, we're down here for the Magic Millions Carnival. We're the tote and fixed odds provider here in Queensland. So mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow Tomorrow is a, a huge day for us, one of the biggest race days in Australia and uh, one of the biggest betting days uh, in Australia as well. Now I've never been into racing myself much, but compared to the Melbourne Cup, how is this? Where does this fall on the ladder? Well, the Melbourne Cup's obviously right at the top of the tree and mm. uh, probably the Spring Carnival is right at the top of the tree as well. But uh, from a outside of Victoria perspective, this is probably right up there, certainly with uh, the Autumn Carnival in Sydney as well. And how do you think the weather's going to hold up for us? Well, I think it's going to hold up too well, in fact. It's <laughs> too bloody hot at the Look moment, at that. isn't it? my it's, goodness. Yeah, I can barely see. It's too much sun <laughs> in my eyes. But if you are mm -hmm. coming out to the track, I think the key will be uh, chuck a bit of sunscreen on before you come. Mm. Uh, perhaps also stay hydrated through the day. I know a lot of people like to have a cheeky ale or two on a race day. Speaking of which, is the ale on tap now? Can we go and get one? Yeah, uh, not yet. I don't think so. Damn but it. <laughs> we'll wait till a more appropriate hour of the day. How about that? This is appropriate first thing on a Friday. <laughs> not for me, anyway. I don't, know what they, I don't know what they do on hot tomato there, but yeah. <laughs> As Nick said, it is a hot day here on the Goldie. We might get a chance of showers in the morning or in the afternoon. Tops of 32, minimum 24. But if we're really lucky, we may get some rain throughout the weekend because tell you what, we are going to need it. And that's the show, so let's roll these credits for all the people who liked and shared and commented on yesterday's post. Now if you are looking for something to do today or maybe across the weekend, you can either come down here to the Magic Millions race or jump online to mygc.com.au where we've got a list of all the different events happening around the Gold Coast for the weekend. It's great! So get out and enjoy our beautiful city guys, have a wonderful weekend, I'll see you Monday!